Welcome to We Win. From a moment of truck struggles to ascend steep hill and leave driver in a precarious situation to attract a trailer flips over and crashes into concrete barrier in Portsmouth, Virginia, and the semi-truck failures have been witnessed across various scenarios that underscore the challenges and risks inherent in operating large commercial vehicles on roads. Now, let's get it on. You may love snow, but this driver doesn't. Absolutely. So difficult to overcome this challenge. Too fast driving in those conditions, accidents will happen. Good lesson for others to see and learn from. He's okay. Indeed, always amazes me how fast people drive in that kind of conditions. What do you think about it, truckers? Adapt your driving to match the weather conditions as raining and snowing. Oh my. The semi truck surrendered to the snowy road. Sinkholes sometimes turn a driver's life upside down like this. Finally, it's successful and come back its road. Great. A truck struggles to ascend steep hill with oversized load that leaving driver in a precarious situation. Who can help him? If you find our videos help you drive better, please comment what you like so we can make more videos. Thanks much. Now continue. Looking at the situation of this bridge and watch the moment this FH crosses it in a risky crossing. The driver of this truck threw his truck into the water after it started on fire. This idea is great, at least the truck wasn't destroyed by fire. How do I get this truck out of the swamp? Oh, imagine this driver's fear as soon as he started braking the truck to stop the cab from falling forward, no matter what happened. Yeah, BR-309. A sad day for a truck driver. Vagão da carreta aqui, ó. E infelizmente caiu em cima do carrinho que já tava ali, né? Na situação... Que é meu almoço, cara. A gente saiu cedo hoje, né, para cobrir. Caraca, a quinta roda quebrou, foi isso. This dash cam footage shows two trucks colliding with each other. Can you see what the cause of the accident was? Obey speed limit, especially intersection. The truck driver swerves to avoid hitting the red car that unexpectedly switches lanes, but ends up colliding with the BMW in its blind spot, causing the red car to remain at the scene. Like video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing moments. A semi-truck collided with trees along I-80 in Mercer County. In a recent incident at the Del Prado and Afro Boulevard intersection, a semi-truck driver lost control due to hydroplaning, crashing into trees. The 
dash cam footage captures the moment a lorry collided with a car. Fortunately, no injuries were reported. Oh man, they should have slowed down to observe. Ah, that explains why the pedestrian crossing sign was knocked down. Fortunately, there were no injuries. A semi-truck veered off course, crashing into a tree dangerously close to a residential complex in Littleton. Despite the ensuing fire and extensive damage to parked cars, no injuries were reported among residents. All of me have been shaking. Always make sure to scan left and right before entering an intersection, because incidents like this occur far too frequently. Remember to only turn when you're in the closest lane to the one you're turning into. At least, no one got hurt. Remember to wear seat belts and avoid reckless driving. Tractor trailer flips over and crashes into concrete barrier in Portsmouth, Virginia. Why are so many drivers so intent on testing physics? Never stop or park on railroad tracks even momentarily. Middleton, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. What just happened in Yeah. Do you think that FedEx driver might have been going a little too fast to begin with, especially considering the weather and road conditions at that time? A good lesson for all truckers. Truck narrowly misses Ohio school buses brakes fail. Excellent driving by everyone involved. Maybe the driver thought he was on a speedway or something. Oh no. Wow, can't imagine how rough that impact must have felt. A historical winter story in December 2019 on I-80 between the East Mixmaster and Altoona. This poor pickup truck must have become a target for dozens of vehicles. Do not follow any semi-truck when it is going uphill.
truck going down the street out of control and at high speed after its driver released the handbrake and lost control. The semi-truck flipped and ignited on I-84 in Iowa, generating thick smoke and halting traffic. In Portsmouth, a car became wedged beneath a flatbed truck, resulting in a traffic incident that required assistance to resolve. If you find our videos help you drive better, please comment what you like so we can make more videos. Thanks much. Now continue. Traffic at the East Mixmaster was halted due to a semi-truck overturning and obstructing the roadway, causing delays for commuters. You're driving too fast, slow down guy. Lady Luck was on his side that's for sure, if not so bad effect. On Detroit's east side, a Detroit fire engine collided with a gas station after being hit by an SUV, causing a chain reaction crash. Witnesses described a chaotic scene as people fled, fearing an explosion. I think he forgot to grab a case of beer while he was at it. A semi-truck and a car involved in fiery crash at Miami Gardens gas station. A semi-truck collides with minivan in residential area and crash into a tree. Luckily, no one was hurt. Unbelievable. You should comprehend that a 76,000 LB truck can't stop on a dime. Cannot enough time. The car landed perfectly next to the pump. Some think that it looked like a stunt, fast and furious. Hey there, if you are enjoying my content, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind later. A tractor trailer fire on I-93. Driver think that I believe I can fly a Truck driver obviously didn't do a prep trip inspection. Ensure your vehicle is well maintained with working brakes, lights and tires. Why do you need training to tell you to not have the box up when driving? That's the most deliberate brake check I've ever seen. Did anyone recommend charges for the driver of the blue car? Dude's lucky the truck driver tried to move away instead of just letting him get squashed. This occurred in the city of Campo Largo. A car is hit by a tanker truck which then hits a bus that was coming in the opposite direction. Finally is an explosion. That's what happens when you load the a trailer the wrong way. They're stuck, they're stuck, they're 
Glad that she could stand up and say. At least five vehicles fall through the ice on Lake Winnipeg in one day as the weather became too harsh. Obey speed limits, wear seat belts, and avoid reckless driving. Oh my god. Never stop your vehicle on the railroad tracks, even if traffic is backed up. Remember that never stop or park on railroad tracks, even momentarily. Be prepared to stop if necessary when approach all railroad crossings. Never try to win a train. An incredible video of a car flips over hitting multiple vehicles parked on Boston Street. Remember people, safe drive come first. Exercise caution at crossings with multiple tracks, as trains may be passing from different directions. Be mindful of large vehicles that may take longer to clear the tracks completely. If you're driving a large vehicle or towing a trailer, ensure you have enough clearance to safely cross the tracks. Strong winds on New Zealand's South Island knocked over a motorhome and pushed it across a highway and forcing nearby vehicles to swerve to avoid a collision. Here we go, here we go. If you find our videos help you drive better, please comment number one so we can make more videos. Thanks much. Now continue. Whoa, here we go. Never jump red light. Look and listen for approaching trains before crossing the tracks. Be properly aware of the power of trains.
the way cars sideswipe each other while attempting to merge lanes. Ford cut in front of the small goods carrier, the driver of which was rightfully frightened and steered to the left. Always stay focused on the road. Don't be distracted by anything. Be careful on the roads and pay attention to the traffic situation. Like video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing moments. Think, how would he do it? The driver probably fell asleep although he claimed that the left side of the car unexpectedly veered, leaving him unable to regain control. During a brake test, the brakes failed that resulting in the car crashing directly into the decorations positioned at the track's conclusion. Be more careful at a busy intersection, folks. Drifting should be confined to race tracks, not public roads. Safe driving, everyone. Oh my, a tow truck drops a car. <laughs> It was evident that there was a technical issue causing the situation. It was almost impossible to see anything, there was so much smoke. A trooper using his authority, training and some common sense to do his job. We need more of you. Good job, officer. Engaging in a high-speed chase within a residential neighborhood poses significant risks. But I hope all cops keep catching the criminals. Don't drive too fast, so dangerous. School parking lots can be chaotic and unpredictable. It's fortunate that he has a dash cam to document any incidents that may occur. So that all the broken fibers come close to each other, they form a fiber ball which you know. A small plane was making an emergency landing on I-40 East close to the paper mill drive exit in Knoxville. Hope you captured the license plates and handed the video footage over to the police office. I noticed the pickup truck had its blinker on, but it's puzzling why the car attempted to pass in that situation. After crossing the tracks, ensure there's enough room on the other side for your vehicle to completely clear the tracks before stopping.
Familiarize yourself with railroad crossing locations along your route and plan ahead for safe navigation. Safety should always be the top priority when crossing railroad tracks, especially for drivers of long vehicles. Take your time, stay alert, and follow these guidelines to minimize the risk of accidents or collisions. Remember that never stop your vehicle on the railroad tracks. Slowing down when crossing the tracks is certain. Pay attention and control the speed appropriate to road conditions. Be careful on the roads and pay attention to the traffic situation. A freight train derailed and caught fire in Canada near the city of Saskatoon. The moment of the accident was captured by a car's camera that had stopped at the barrier. Initially, the train cars wobbled before beginning to topple over. God was watching out for you. So thrilled to see all of you survive. If you find our videos help you drive better, Please comment number one so we can make more videos. Thanks much. Now continue. Control the car in your lane well. If each of us were more careful on the road, these scenes would be gone. Always stay focused on the road ahead to avoid this. Please obey the speed on all roads, guys. Unbelievable. Never overtake like that. Remember, the streets are for cruising, not colliding. Did their eyes hurt, or did their car's rear-view mirror get stolen? The engine caught fire as the train moved slowly toward the station. Maybe it's overloaded after many hours of operation. The fact that if you are supposed to yield to oncoming traffic, then yield to oncoming traffic, even if that traffic is wrong. Like video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing moments. Oh my god! Thanks God, he didn't sideswipe Santa Cruz right there.
The truck made contact with the Toyota, nudging it forward in front of the larger vehicle along the M1 on the Gold Coast. That's why you should always obey speed limits on road. The dash cam footage captured a police officer pursuing a driver who was speeding at 140 mph in a BMW. He ended that very quickly. Good job. Oh no! Folks, I have an issue. Really? Was it an EV vehicle? Really? The North Texas Tollway Authority released a video depicting a truck colliding with a barrier wall along Highway 360 near Dallas-Fort Worth. Obey speed limits, wear seat belts, and avoid reckless driving. Oh no! The train tracks are not for any type of car or truck. Don't imitate this. A truck accelerated rapidly in the inner lane, but a few boards propped up couldn't withstand the force of the wind and fell onto the road. Maybe it does not like speed. Police and firefighters swiftly arrived to evacuate passengers and extinguish the fire. Thankfully, no injuries were reported. A driver in the outer lane accelerated while the truck overtook him so that he could not move back into the right lane and get stuck in the no overtaking section. Idiot driver crashes into a car carrier truck after losing control getting into the interstate. Please adhere to safety protocols while navigating the highways. I cannot understand why people pull that crap. So many truck drivers have cameras now. Wish these idiot drivers didn't exist on the road anymore. A car drove into the oncoming lane where he rammed the truck. Oh my god, maybe the driver's lack of attention for only one second. Thank you for staying with us throughout this incredible journey. We'd love to hear which moment resonated with you the most. Please, share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. See you in the next video!